This is Chad Rosebrook with your Legacy Grain Market Report for Thursday, March 17th. Well, crude oil is up today, trading up above $41 a barrel. And uh, the U.S. dollar traded lower today, while the Brazilian real traded higher. So those are all positive things for the grain market. And uh, the bean market especially responded this morning. Uh, the nearby contract, uh, the May contract on beans traded up above $9 futures which was the first time we have seen that since our December highs. And so as we traded above $9 futures, uh, this morning we had a lot of farmer selling take place about mid-morning, and by about noontime uh, we had settled back below $9 futures. So uh, moral of the story is be an early seller of beans on these rallies because it seems like as we get a lot of farmer selling take place in the morning, uh, you're going to see those those beans come off their highs, and that's definitely what was what was the problem today. So, uh, positive things for beans: we traded above nine dollar futures on the on the May contract, uh, but we weren't able to sustain that level. Um, so again, just kind of keep that in mind as we move forward. Uh, if you see the markets are up first thing in the morning, maybe uh, be a seller of beans first thing, as opposed to waiting to see how the trade goes. But uh, every day is different, but that was definitely the way it was this morning. As we look forward, you know, March 31st planting intentions report will be upon us soon, about a couple of weeks. Um, and also, too, another date to keep in mind is April 13th. Legacy Farmers will be hosting two different marketing meetings that day, uh, one up in the morning at Deschler and one in Finley in the afternoon. And we are going to have one of our brokers from FC Stone present to give a market update and also to host a Brazilian uh, South American update we're going to be video conferencing with their brokers in Brazil. So it'll be a live video conference uh, with their brokers in Brazil. So you can feel free to ask questions and uh, get an update on what's happening down in South America. So uh, this has been Chad Rosebrook with your Legacy Grain Report.